But Rob, let's uh, something. It's right in our wheelhouse because um, it is broadcasting. Rex Ryan, the former head coach, now an analyst, was on ESPN earlier this morning, and he talked about Amari Cooper and crossed the line. Here's what he said. To me, this is the biggest disappearing act in the National Football League. He doesn't show up on the road. He doesn't show up against when the competition's good. When he's against the top corners, that guy disappears. This is who he is. And, Dan, he doesn't love football. Hell with it. He stops his routes. He does all this. I wouldn't have paid this turd. No way in hell. Well, there it is. And, I mean, look, the criticism about his game is fine. That's what we I was going to say, Chris, he, he's fine all the way up until then. And you know right. what? If he could have just given me some numbers, too, to say in the fourth quarter when he says he disappears, he has – uh, you know, in the fourth quarter in the last four years, only three touchdowns and you right. know what I mean? Or something right. to just back that up. I'm good with that. And we, both of us, have done hours and hours and hours of live television, okay? Oh, my Haven't gosh. we? Yeah, I mean, We've done th thousands of hours. of hours. Yeah, if not thousands of hours. Thousands. Yeah, when you think back, I, I, I mean, I started. Probably we both thousands. Did, You're probably we, right. We, we, we did uh, cold pizza in New York back yep. in 2005, 2006, Chris. Yep. You know how many years yep. ago that was? So, yep. so we both know what it's like to be on live television, to have to voice your opinion. But to call a guy a turd, I mean, I, 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 I've heard a lot, Chris. I never heard that before. No, you have to keep name calling out of it. And you really don't want to get personal. Now look, we've talked a lot about Antonio Brown this year, right? And uh, we obviously haven't agreed with a lot of the things he's done. But you don't cross the line and call somebody a name like that. You you just can't. And and in fairness to Rex, he did apologize shortly, you know, like a few hours later, of course, after the firestorm. But uh you you can't do that. You don't want you don't want guys getting personal with you. And you know, Rob, look, we know athletes that we've been critical of. And we have sometimes good relationships with athletes we've been critical of. And the thing we can always tell them is look, it's not personal. I'm critiquing your what you do. If you do something personal in your personal life that impacts your game or the team, and we have to talk about it, that's one thing. But name calling, going at a guy, you know, lying on a guy, even if he's playing well and you're ripping him or whatever because you don't like him, stuff like that you have to stay away from. You know, I'm not going to hold this over Rex Ryan's head forever or anything like that, but – I, it's just got to be let known. He definitely crossed the line today. You don't need to be now, calling these guys' names. No doubt about it. Now, this is the interesting thing. He apologized and all that. Fine. Okay? ESPN, though, Chris, pushed that quote out on social media. Why? I, I, I'm surprised. You know, we both work there. You know, it's like being called to the principal's office. We always right. talk about when you work at ESPN, you work for the mouse, you know, because of Disney. Than most, but. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, I was only in there once. It didn't go well, but I was only in. <laughs> Can you believe that in my eight years, I only got called in one time? But anyway, my an point, <laughs> that really is. <laughs> hey, and zero at Fox. How's that? So we'll take there that. There you go. That's right. But, um, um, but 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 I'm just surprised that ESPN, I wouldn't, would you put that out on social media? No, but you know this as well as anybody, Rob, and we won't get deep into it. But there are times, and I've had this situation with myself too, there are times when ESPN actually thought something was good, but then the public backlash oh, was, okay. was wor you you know what I'm saying? You know I already, what I'm saying. I lived it. Right. And and I've been in that situation too. And they re now I'll give Mike Greenberg credit. He he seemed to all pick it up immediately because right after Rex said the word turd, you heard Greenberg say something like, oh, or okay, or you know, now Rex kept going for, I don't know, 20 more seconds. He didn't cut him off, but he did make some type of comment like he he may have thought that was over the line. But uh, but yeah, so that's that's we just wanted to let it be known that we think, you know, Rex crossed the line and he whether he was sincere or not, he apologized for it. Let's All bring right. in our next guest. As we said, he's a Cowboys beat writer for the Dallas Morning News, a busy man. 
right now, even even with the shutdown. Our man Calvin Watkins. Calvin, what's happening, brother? What's cracking, guys? What's going on? And, now, and we, Cal- we got to settle something first yes. before Chris we get into the you football. Were ma- you were married, were you to, married a star? to Monique, <laughs> the actress. <laughs> it's you or somebody else? It, it's you, right? It, it's me, yeah. Yes, that's, accurate. that's, what, I that's, accurate that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's yeah, what I thought. So what, yeah. were you holding her back from being a superstar? Is that what, what happened? I must have been <laughs> holding her back, yeah. <laughs> toward, the, <laughs> toward the end of our marriage, uh, she had she was working at, uh, remember this phone company called MCI? Yes, yes, yes. She, yes. Was a, uh, she was like in customer service at MCI. So she was about to quit her job and then start comedy. And then, then our marriage kind of dissolved, maybe Two or three years after that, but was that yeah, part was, of it that you were like, "Hey, what? What do you? You know, what do you? Are you gonna become a comedian? What are you talking about?" Oh no, no, there were other okay. issues going on with that, but no, no. <laughs> was she no, funny? No. Was she always like a? You know what I mean? Like, could you see it in her though? That was she always a funny person, or so are you not surprised by that she blew up, or are you surprised? Literally, Man, I never saw this. Uh, I never saw this, but I will say um, we were we were separated and we had lunch. And so um, I remember we were driving somewhere and she told me she said she had a dream. She's going to have a whole TV show. I was like, <laughs> looked at her like, really? Come on. And, wow. And then and then obviously she uh, exploded. I, I do remember when she won the uh, Golden Globe for Precious, she called me and we were talking and she said, can you believe this? They gave me an award for this, for this thing. And I said, yeah, I've seen you act like that in real life. You know? <laughs> wow. So, so it's just like a success story for her. It's just been like, uh, it's, it's incredible. It's, a it's great amazing. Story. How long that were is. you guys married? Uh, legally five years. Okay. okay. I got married when I was uh, twenty-one. Something so like y'all, that. did yeah. y'all know each other in high school and or college? No, I guess? no. I, I was going to say ra- that's young. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was working at a radio station in Baltimore. And yeah, because I was like, going to say she's not from New York. That's what I was trying uh-uh. to figure out. No, she's from Baltimore, and uh, I was going to school and working at this radio station in Baltimore. And that's when we met. She was in sales, and I was, like, doing sports on the air. Wow. Like I was, okay. I, was, I was doing sports updates. Yeah, she was in sales, and that's how we met. My last question about this, and then we'll get into the football <laughs> quickly. I can be honest, as she, if you've seen her on television and movies, and as you mentioned the awards, was there ever a time where you're like, man, we should have stayed together? <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. I've never um... – I never felt that way. Uh, maybe because I've known her since for a long time. So I never looked at it that way. Uh, I was happy with. I think we were both happy with our decisions. We have a son together, right? So uh, I remember um, I had to do a story. Terrell Owens had a birthday party, and it was when he was playing for the Cowboys. And the birthday party was in Los Angeles. This was during the season. And they had a game in New York. And I and I told the office, hey, I want to cover this birthday party. I think I could stay. You don't have to worry about the hotel. And I stayed at Monique's house. And um, the, the cut cost because the, the flight was like the, at the last minute. Right. So I remember spending the night at her house in L.A. You know, so we've always been friends. You know, I mean, always got, sometimes those things can be a little dicey, but we've yeah, always right. been, good. Been, we always been friends. Yeah. Well, that's good, man. That's We're awesome. joined by Calvin Watkins, the Dallas Cowboys beat writer for the Dallas Morning News. All right, let's get into now, the news. Now, now I know how my ex-wife feels now. <laughs> 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 right. right. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go. And you are, Rob is on that path. I don't know if you know Calvin. He uh, He's on his path to becoming a superstar comedian. Yeah, we'll see what happens. All right. <laughs> Rex Ryan shook Dallas today, didn't he? Oh yeah, he was he was totally out of line, totally out of line. Um, Amari Cooper, I've only known him for like a year and a half, and he's one of the nicest guys. You know, you will meet. Each of you have covered beats, and you know, Rob baseball, you basketball, Chris, 
And let me tell you something. Amari will talk to you whether he's hurt, whether he's healthy, whether he's struggling, whether he's having a good game. He's always the same. Um, you know, answer all the tough questions. He's just a good dude. And now if you want to say he disappeared in the Jets game, that's fine. If you want to say that the Lions and the Patriots took him out, that's fine. Um, if you want to question his toughness, okay, fine. I can live with that. that that's all legitimate. But to call him a turd is just, it's just, it's just like, it's like a personal attack. Right. And do just, they have, Calvin, do they have history? What is this about? Because it was so personal. It was like, he doesn't like football. I wouldn't have paid that dude. I would. There was something there. I, I couldn't figure it out. I don't, I, I really don't know. Um, now, his brother Rob was a defensive coordinator for the Cowboys for about a year or two. And, but I, I don't know what's going on. Maybe um, Rex's agent was trying to represent Amari. I, I, I have no <laughs> idea. You know how those right. things go sometimes. Or maybe right. Rob might have told him some stuff that was coming out. You know what I mean? Like from coaches. I mean, because it just seemed like well, I think he was so that, confident in it. Yeah, I think some of that's just Rex's. I mean, he he is that type of overstated, over the top. You know what I mean? Now, obviously, mm-hmm. I mean, the third line, that's off. That's way out of bounds. But I think his other criticism is just, I took it as just that's his personality. Um, but let me ask you this, Calvin. Um, Dak. Where are we at? I mean, the the latest reports that I've seen is that he's going to end up being the highest paid player in the league, both in terms of guaranteed money and, or at least right there with Russell Wilson, if not a little bit ahead of Russell Wilson. So where do we stand on on this? Well, uh, I would say maybe a week and a half ago, the Cowboys upped the offer to to Prescott. He's going to get more than Carson Wentz. He's going to get more than Jared Goff. Uh, The big holdup is the length of the deal. Uh, Prescott wants a four-year deal, and the Cowboys are offering a five-year deal. Um, I think Prescott is believing, hey, I can come back to the table when I'm like 30 years old, and if I'm doing good, I see Pat Mahomes and Deshaun Watson because their money is going to surpass Prescott. So I think Dak is, is believing I can go back to the table again in four years once the market is reset when Deshaun Watson and uh, Pat Mahomes get their money. The Cowboys are like, hey, that's not our problem. This is a deal. It's a five-year deal. You're our quarterback for the future, and we, we want you to take this. And so that's the biggest holdup right now. Is the money you think per this deal year going to be – I'm sorry, Rob. If the, is the money per year equal to Russell Wilson? Do you know, or is it a slightly below, or, or what? Uh, it should be higher than Russell Wilson. Um, the, the last the last figures I received was 33 million on average, 105 million guaranteed. The Cowboys have upped those offers since uh, the combine, so he's going to get more than he's going to be the highest paid player in the history of the game. That's okay. what we've been told. But apparently, how the structure how they're going to structure it is the biggest impact. Uh, is this going to is this going to get done, or is it at some point the Cowboys are going to say, "Okay, we've we've done this. Here's the thing: this guy's not budging. Franchise tag him, and we'll go from there." Well, they've already put the franchise tag on him, and he has until July 15th to sign it. Um, as Stephen Jones likes to say, it takes two people to make deals. So the Cowboys continue to up the offer, and and Prescott's people continue to say, "Nope, that's not enough. Nope, that's not enough." But I don't think the Cowboys are going to quit on Prescott because that's all they have at that position. So they're going to keep him. They got the tag in place to keep him for at least 2020. They have the option of putting the tag on them again in 2021, similar to what Washington did with Kirk Cousins. So uh, I'm very surprised they have not reached uh, a deal here. But we have the summer, so we'll see what happens. Last question. We got about a minute left, Calvin. If Dak, let's say he comes back on the franchise tag, is he going to hold a grudge? Because we've seen a lot of commentators say that will ruin the relationship between him and the organization, and they'll probably end up splitting up at some point. Do you think that'll be the case, or did Dak will, you know, he'll put that beside behind? I know he'll play, he'll be a professional and play. I think he will. But 
What, what explain that if he comes back on the franchise tag? Uh, I don't think he'll be happy, but he's going to come back. I don't think long term it will affect anything because one thing about the Cowboys, especially with Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones, they're very family oriented and they have great relationships with their players. Jerry, as you guys know, is a player's owner. So they will work it out in some way. Remember, Ezekiel Elliott held out with two years left in his deal, went to Cabo in the middle of training camp, and him and Jerry kissed and made up, and, and they're best friends now. So I think the same thing will the, happen with Dak. And that's why the Cowboys haven't won anything in 25 years, because they run the organization <laughs> like a mom-and-pop store. Maybe so. You might be right, but uh, that's how they do things. And Jerry and Steven, they're going to run it the, the way they see fit. And, and you're right, it's been a long time since they, you know, had a championship around here. And they live in the past here in Dallas. Uh, but this is how they do things. Uh, people in the organization are hopeful that Dak will reach out to Steven or Jerry because other players have done that personally to get deals done. But Dak won't even call them. Instead, Dak's agent, Todd France, is doing all the, all the co- conversations. So, because Jerry and Steven like that personal relationship. Yeah. Hey, you, you want it? You want some money? Call me. Don't send your representative. Call me. Let's get it done. Cowboys have done that. They, they got a deal done with um, Demarcus Lawrence that way. They got the Zeke deal done that way. So they fig- they're figuring, hey, Dak, pick up your cell, holla at us. So we'll see. Hmm. All right, All right interesting Calvin. stuff. Great, Good great stuff. information, man. Right, we guys. appreciate it. And uh, be safe out there, man. Take care yep. of yourself. And uh, keep you doing too. the good work, man. Proud of yep. you, Calvin. You know that. Proud of you guys. Yeah, thank you very much. Take- All right, brother. Peace. Let's get back to the story of the hour. Was Rex Ryan out of line with his comments about Amari Cooper? It's your turn to weigh in. Let's get to a few calls, Rob. All right, let's go to Charles in Detroit. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Charles? Hey, how's it going, fellas? I got a couple great, of things, man. if you allow it. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, one, I agree with you guys 100. percent When he started calling uh, uh, names like that, that's personal. He went above and beyond. But of course, you know that's Rex Ryan. But right. still, not excuse. He should apologize and be sincere about it. He and did. Then secondly, uh, Rob, you out of line again. Brady versus Belichick, and you want to call it the uh, the Eagles game where where Belichick the one that set up Malcolm Butler and cost him the game. You want to try and put it on Brady? Well, wait a minute, Brady. That, that, no, no, yeah, no. We, 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 we don't have time for that. There's times, yeah, when Rob but, talks about we but talk Bra- Brady. We'll but, Bra- but Brady fumbled the ball at the end of the game. All right, that's all I want to know. Dave in Ohio, you're on the Odd Couple of Fox Sports Radio. Take my call. Rob, I love you. You're right 99% of the time. Thank oh, you. Dave, come on, Dave. <laughs> my yeah, man, sure, Dave. Rob, sure hope your I'm friends and family didn't hear that hey, comment. Uh, uh, let's go back to, uh, uh, to <laughs> Ryan. The comment he made was taken out of context by so many people. He was talking about Amari Cooper as a player. And all his comments you don't before, think that word was all his out comments of line? were before as a player. He what about when he, he called him a turn? That was as a player? That was personal. You you gonna tell uh, me that uh, wasn't let me, personal? Let me ask you this, Chris. If you said Rob Parker's comedic skills are less than great, I'd never hire that same word to play at my club. Is that an attack on him personally? No, that's an attack on him professionally. You, you Come can't on, use guys. that. You can't. The word. No, that that word is not acceptable on television, Dave. Right. It just isn't. It 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 isn't. You can call I, I, people. Look, every, you, right. You, you, ahead, could, right. you could call people a lot of things, Chris. That is unacceptable. Yeah, it would. You just don't need to be name calling. That's when it gets personal. That's I, when I it's agree. personal. I mean, I I agree with the caller, Dave, in that you know. Uh, uh, like you said, Rob, you said it earlier. Everything was fine except using that word. Yes, I had no problem with That's that. That's it. That's it. So. Uh, Felicia in Michigan, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Hey, how are you? We are great. How are you? I'm great. I'm going to be unpopular here. And uh, first of all, I want to say Bill Withers, his, uh, my favorite song by him is Grandma's Hand. That's my favorite yeah, song that's by him. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I'm going to be unpopular, but I believe Rex Ryan brought in trash, the, the trash talking we do on the couch from home and the, being the comedian and his personality that he is, because, you know, we have the comedian in chief in the White House. We also have comedians and everything else. He's the comedian of the, of the uh, NFL commentators. His personality 
and everything else. Yes, I brought. He, I think he brought his trash talking to the uh, to the, to the uh, as a commentator, and I, I I'm not offended. Um, you know, because I sit at home and I trash talk and I call people, and I say, "Oh, his his gang was trash." Felicia, that I'm gonna stop you. You just said it. You're at home. You're at home. You're not in front of a camera on national television, and the name calling is is bad. You remember when I got into that fight with Rick Barry, Chris? Yep. We weren't doing a show together. It was me and Mark Willard at the time on the weekends. Do you know why I went off? Because he called me a loser. And, and that's name calling. You could say that you disagree with me or I'm off. It was about LeBron passing the ball off for the three. You remember that? Right, that he, right. Rick said he made the right basketball call. Rick Barry's a Hall of Famer and a great basketball player, and that's his opinion. All right? But to call me a loser because I disagree with a play is when I just said that that's not where we are. The name calling. I wouldn't call Rick Barry a loser on the radio. Do you know what I'm saying? Because right. we, we disagreed. Right. No, That's when it's crossing and, and the line. Felicia, we're not saying Rex Ryan should be fired or he can't be. Nobody you know, said on that. TV. No, we're not. It's we can move on, but he has to know going forward that's crossing the line. And, Unacceptable. And she, she's right. Yeah, sitting on your couch, you might say a lot of things. That doesn't mean you're going to be able to say it on national television. You know, so that's Bye, the situation there. <laughs> That's right. Bye, Felicia. And I'm going to rip you on my couch tonight. That's no, keep right. keep that calling in, right. Felicia, but I love that. Bye, Felicia. That's Can't hilarious. do it.